Mike's going to want to get on his side and do that. Do you see what happened with the elbow then? Slightly. Do you see that? All right, so when he comes on his side, get, yep, and he pushes, then we catch. So it's easier as they start to defend to catch it. Yeah? But then it's a timing issue, isn't it? Okay? Now it's a timing thing. Now, if we're here and he starts to defend and he's driving and I'll miss it, then we go to north south and we finish them. Okay? Everyone happy with that? So, you know the basic technique when they're here. So now when we play with it, we'll play with the position. Partner will start to escape and then we've got to try and catch it. Now it's like, you know, cat and mouse and that sort of stuff. Yeah? So it's a nice little game. Next one we're going to have a look at will be the armbar. So when they don't, all right, so we're here, they're just blocking. All right, so creating the pressure. So hand behind the knee, behind the head, just driving up, creating the pressure. Hand now is going to go underneath here and the shoulder cup. And I'm going to pull him on his side. When I pull him on his side, I'm going to step to the small of the back and up the leg. Pull, hamstring curl, nice and tight, and finish the armbar. Okay? Just be aware of when you fall down on this armbar, because your partner's actually up on their side and the arm goes back like that, it's really tight. Especially guys that have you know, done some weightlifting and stuff like that, shoulders, us older guys. As soon as you start doing that, you know, the, the, it's, everything starts to become hyperextended and really super tight. Okay, so don't slam your back on the mat. You want to be nice and controlled. This is to protect your partner. So again, we're here. Mike defends. Underhook. Pull, step, I pull myself in the mic, hamstring curl here, and now, boom, okay, that, that's, that's all we need, nice and slow, and when we're doing arm bars, once you get one or two arm bars, you don't need to keep applying it, because the hip, ex, the hip bridge into an extended arm is not where the skill is, it's the setup, the entry. The actual finish is about that much. <clears throat> you don't need to practice that so much. Once you get the feel for it, where the, you know, the wrist is, where the hip is, in line with the elbow, once you're happy with that, just get the entry, practice the entry, okay? Otherwise, your, arm, your partner's arm is gonna start looking like this, yeah, and then up, you know? So we, we don't wanna have, you know, scar tissue around the elbow so much that, you know, and walk around like this forever. Happy? Are there any questions? One, two, three.